Hello guys, today we will be discussing about independent and dependent variable. And to those who are new to this channel, please not forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay guys, today we will be talking about independent and dependent variables since Several of you, marami sa inyo sa comment box or sa comment section ng channel are asking me about independent and dependent variables. So now, we will discuss about what are these variables. So, just to explain it briefly, independent and dependent variables are the variables usually mentioned, especially sa mga experimental research or even simple experiments. So, independent and dependent variables are there. So let us discuss it. So I have here a situation. An experiment is conducted to rats in order to know the correct dosage of the medicine to be given to humans. A certain formula was said to either shorten or extend one's life depending on the dosage given. By the way, dosage is the amount of drugs okay, uh, giving, given or treated to a patient or a certain subject. Okay, so that is about dosage. But before that, let us discuss, because in this particular example, you have there already independent and dependent variables. So in this situation, nandiyan na yung independent and dependent variable. Just have to identify those variables. So what is a variable, by the way? Kapag sinabing variable, this is a measurable characteristic that varies. Measurable, meaning nasusukat siya. It comes with numbers, okay? And it's a characteristics that varies, okay? So, example of those characteristics are, of course, yung height, yung weight, size, exam scores. So when we say it varies, it means been nagkakaiba-iba siya. Let's, for example, yung height mo is iba yung height ng classmate mo. Diba? Yung weight mo could be different from other people. Size, exam scores are, of course, comes in variety, so that's why it's called variable. Alright? So let us go back to the situation I was giving you. So as I was saying, it is an experiment about yung dosage ng medicine na bibigay o i-inject sa rats. So this is a brown rat, also known as rodent. So kung ito ako nagkakamali, their lifespan is only uh, 12 months. Okay, especially if they are in the wilds. So, a certain formula daw ay bibigay sa kanila. And this experiment is done to know the right dosage na maaring ibigay to make a good type of drug. I don't know. Okay, but that, that's the point. So, the problem is a certain formula was said to either shorten or extend one's life depending on the dosage given so this is the formula and then the amount of or the dosage that ibinibigay dun sa rat maaaring makapahaba ng kanyang buhay at maaaring makapaikli ng kanyang buhay so that it's the situation so for example so ituturo ko i-inject na sa rat what is affected here so for us to identify what are the variables in the study we need to ask about what is affected. Of course, what is affected after injecting, of course, are the rats. Okay? But that is not the exact variable. Dapat nating tanong sa ating mga sarili. What is specifically will be affected? Specifically, ano yung pinaka maapektuhan about the rat? So, yung pinaka maapektuhan, syempre, are the lifespan of rats. Diba? Yung haba ng kanyang buhay. It could shorten the life or extend the rat's life. So that would be our dependent variable, rat's lifespan or the lifespan of rats. So for us to identify naman yung dependent variable, we need to ask what affects the lifespan of rats. Ano yung nakapekto sa lifespan ng rats? So the answer basically the syringe and the formula but we need to be very specific that's why tatanong na naman natin what specifically affects the rats 
So the answer, of course, formula, dosage, or the dosage given. So, so our independent variable would be the formula, dosage, or the dosage given. All right, so that is about dependent and dependent variable. So for us to define, let me show you the definition about the dependent variable. So what is exactly the dependent variable? So the dependent variable is the variable our searcher is interested in. I'm emphasizing the phrase interested in. Yun yung pinaka interesado ang researcher. Okay? And it's affected by the independent variable. Yung independent variable, siya yung nakaka sa dependent variable. So the changes to the dependent variable are what the researcher is trying to measure. Interesado yung researcher sa dependent variable because ito din kasi yung mini-measure. Yung changes na nangyayari sa dependent variable. So for example, sa situation na binigay natin, which usually nakikita natin sa mga palabas na mayroong mga daga na ini-injikan. That's why I also chose this example. So in the example given, the dependent variable is the lifespan of the rats. So we're trying to measure the change in the lifespan after treated with different formula dosage. Okay? So iba-ibang formula dosage yung ibibigay sa rat. So of course, maaring maging iba-iba din yung epekto dun sa lifespan sa rat. So, let's just say 12 months yung nat natural na buhay ng rat na yun. But then, after given a certain treatment, so, maaring humaba, maaring din mamatay yung iba ng maga. Okay? That is the dependent variable, yung lifespan. Kasi maaring humaba, maaring din uh, umikli yung buhay niya. And what affects the lifespan is, of course, the independent variable. And what is independent variable? Kapag sinabi namang independent variable, the independent variable is a variable that affects the dependent variable. So this is usually the variable that our searcher will control to see if it makes a dependent variable change. Because yung independent variable na pakatali pong tandaan, ito yung variable na nakaka-apekto sa dependent variable. At madalas, and usually, ito yung kinokontrol ng researcher. Uh, what is or what part of that situation na kinokontrol ng researcher yung independent variable. Yung certain dosage, yung dosage na, let's just say, konti lang yung dosage na tinuturok sa rat, meron ding ma marami yung dosage. Alright? So, nasa control ng researcher yung dosage. Of course, that is the independent variable. So, in our example of rats being injected with certain drug, our independent variable is the formula dosage. So there is a certain variable also, which is also so included in that certain situation na binigay ko kanina. So this is known as the extraneous variable. So what is extraneous variable? So these are any variables that are not intentionally studied but affects or may affect the result of an experiment. Mga variable siya na hindi natin i-study. Wala sa, sa ating expectation na lalabas siya. Okay? Or kahit meron tayong hinuha na merong variable na ganyan sa ating study, wala tayong intention na isama sa study. But it could affect, may affect the result of our experiment. So, on the example given, what if the rats were kept under different locations? Diba? And what if the rats were of different sizes? What if the researcher himself waited for a rat to sleep before injecting a treatment and did not for another? So, diba, of course, mag, magkakaroon yun ang epekto sa experiment natin. Kasi say, yung isang rat ay nilagay sa mainit na lugar, say, sa yung isa ay malamig. Although, the experiments were based sa dosage, maaring maka-apekto pa rin yun sa condition ng rat, which would affect the lifespan of the rats. So that those are extraneous variables. So the variables that are not intentionally studied but affects or may affect the result of an experiment. Okay? It is about extraneous variable. So the summary of the last one is, of course, the dependent variable is the variable affected by the independent variable. And the independent variable is a variable that affects the dependent variable. 
and extraneous variables, any variables that are not intentionally studied but affects or may affect the result of any experiment. So, klarong klaro po. Pag dependent variable is about the variable affected ng dependent. Pero yung independent variable, it is the one that affects the dependent variable. And any other variable that may affect the outcome of the study, although which are not intentionally studied, is called extraneous variable. And now, I have an assignment for you. And if you know the answer for this assignment, please comment on the comment section of this channel. So, you are to identify what is the dependent variable and the independent variable. Suppose you are going to conduct an experiment. Okay, mag experimento ka wherein kung saan you will examine five people's ability to throw a javelin. Okay, you, they are going to throw a javelin when they haven't slept for a specific period of time. Yung unang tao haven't slept for four hours, yung kadalawang, ikalang, ikalawang tao, uh, siyam na oras, labing apat na oras, labing siyam, at yung ikalima, hindi siya nakatulog ng buong 24 hours. So, in this experiment, you are going to examine yung ability nila to draw a javelin. So, you are going to identify now ano ang dependent variable and independent variable for this particular ex experiment. Okay, if you know the answer, please do not hesitate. Your answers will all be appreciated. So, I guess that would be all for now and see you for the next vlog and thank you and good day.